for another session uh, where I'm going to share in the tip of the day today about our wonderful smoothies which we all love and have time to time. So how Ayurveda see towards smoothies and uh, many of us nowadays are becoming more uh, interested in having smoothies at breakfast. So from Ayurvedic perspective, smoothies are the most incompatible food what one can eat. Now, someone might ask, okay, what do you mean by incompatible? Because as I shared in many other my previous uh, uh, discussions, that whenever we talk about nutrition, in nutrition, one of the prime objective of Ayurveda is that no matter how good food you are eating, how balanced food you are eating, if that food is not metabolized in your system effectively, you will never ever get any nutrient from it and most of the time your body will produce more toxin. We call them as ama from Ayurvedic Sanskrit language. And those toxins will ultimately be the root cause of your problem. So when we talk about smoothies, smoothies are incompatible combination. If you look at what we put in smoothies, yogurt will be there, banana will be there, frozen berries will be there because we have in concept berries are wonderful antioxidant, which are, but when they are frozen, they become and then fruit and yogurt combination and then some of my wonderful friends will add even protein powders and those kind of thing. That all and then there are some who might add some vegetables in that or vegetables powder nowadays available, beetroot powder or uh, green powders or all that kind of thing or seaweed and so many things. That combination become incompatible. And when we say incompatible from Ayurvedic perspective, we talk about that each food item has its own qualities. Qualities means either heavy, light, dry, oily, that kind of qualities carry in each of the food item then those food items qualities will be responsible that how the message get passed on when the food comes in your mouth to the brain to make the stomach ready to metabolize what is coming in to be metabolized and when that confused message is going there we will always have trouble that those wonderful organic super organic smoothies will not get metabolized impact your gut impact your digestive fire impact your metabolic process and lead to more complication so one will ask okay what kind of complications i can see and how that is working complication you will find because this is all heavy sticky damp moist outcome of that product and it will hamper your digestion and will lead you those kind of toxins which can result in various kind of uh, problems on a simple level you can see more congested in your uh, upper respiratory system you might have an runny nose you might have any congestion you might have any sinus you might have any migraine those kind of basic issues are there you might have an uh, indigestion uh, you might have an, a lot of gas coming up you might feel all the time sluggish fatigue these are the indications when you are having and now one thing i would like to share here don't think that okay you have taken smoothie one day and you will be sick now that does not happen if you are taking such incompatible food time to time again and again that is where it will lead to to further make it more and more precise we look at into the season we look into the person's constitution because each individual according to ayurveda have their precise uh, body makeup we call them their prakriti which they are born with and then also their age so these all consideration has to be kept in mind when we are deciding what sort of food people should eat and because we are in a winter at the moment we must avoid uh, having smoothies at all and if someone is looking for these kind of things because they think they are wonderful then please uh, restrain them using them so often then your other food item should be more balanced but from ayurvedic perspective it is very humble request that never ever go near to smoothies because one thing we all i'm sure 
agree that we all look for well-being. We all make some effort to live healthy. And when we are making such effort, these small, small components can contribute towards our well-being in a very big way. And that is the reason that when people sit back and try to see that I am making every effort to be healthy, but still I am not healthy. So what are the reasons? And this is where Ayurveda comes up, which gives you that finer to finer reason of your unwellness. Physical, mental, emotional things contribute towards making an individual sick. And on that note, I have shared many times that if someone has made a lot of effort to achieve that total well-being and it is still eluding them and they still have certain specific ailment and they have tried everything, I will ask you if you can download on your phone in an app which is known as Chit Yog Sadhana app Chit Yog Sadhana app. This is an app which is in a very systematic awareness and practical applications. Advice are in that app for every individual to do. But not only doing, but you need to analyze them. And you have to remind yourself all the time, have you completed this or not? And it has six stages. I can assure you, if anyone can reach up to six stage and you unlock that stage, by that time you will be your own judge to see where your wellness is. It is in a very, I can give my word to you basically, that's what I can say, that if you can follow that diligently, honestly, that app and reach to the sixth stage without making any um, wrong ways to unlock the next stage or like that, you will find 90% your all problems physically, mentally, emotional imbalances will be taken care of. And that's what we are looking for. And that's what we want to achieve in our life. So make an effort and uh, do these things. And this is for uh, today all and we will catch up next time again. Thanks everyone.